So in this video, we are gonna pull shipping together. Today is Sunday, it's about late afternoon, and I don't know how many things have sold, but we're gonna pull some of it. We're gonna get started, which is what I usually do on Sunday afternoons, early evening to get a jump on it. That way I'm not waking up Monday morning dreading the week. So let's go down into my basement warehouse together and pull shipping. Now I have been in the middle of a few projects. I am currently building a desk. Well, I'm not building it, I'm shopping for a new desk because I need a much bigger desk so I have been doing that but in between running all over creation I've been down to Maryland and I've been here in Pennsylvania and I think I found the desk that I wanted I've also been to Ikea if you don't know the Alex hack desk I think that's what I'm making but in between all of that I have been bringing upstairs the items the clothing items that I have on the racks and I've started the folding and packing of those so in this footage you're gonna see lots of packed items that need to be put away and what else is going on I think that that's it. Sales were fairly good this weekend. Now what we're pulling is, I think it is Friday afternoon till Sunday afternoon. So hit that like and subscribe button. Let's go downstairs together into my basement and let's take a look at what's sold. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours. Okay, so we are going to pull a little bit of shipping together. I figured we'd hang out while I pull a few of my solds. I'm not even sure how many I'm going to pull. Probably, I'm going to guess 15 to 20. So let's get started. As you can see by these IKEA bags, I have been folding. So that is a great thing. Sometimes I fall behind and then um, I put on movies and just catch up and get all of the items that I have listed. Folded, packed with tissue paper. So I have been working on this rack here. <laughs> so all of that that you saw in the IKEA bags is about half a rack. So I still have the rest of this rack to do. I'll probably work on that tonight. And then these two racks. So I might have to dig in the IKEA bags a little bit, but let's get started and see what the first item is. So I'm gonna be looking at my phone and I'm gonna start with the oldest first. The first item is DiMarchi cycling jersey. This is a men's cycling jersey, and I believe it is hung up right here. Try to get it loose. So I think this is it. Yes, DiMarchi, is that how we say it? I'll put it under this light. Don't mind the lighting today, guys. I'm kind of over setting up special lighting down here in the basement. I don't mind having lighting up in the YouTube studio, but for now we're just pulling, so I don't think anything really needs special lighting. This is the jersey, and I have to see what this sold for. I'll give you guys a report. You know what? We'll start to make a pile on the table. I cleared off the table, so we are ready to go. Let me grab my phone, get a little organized here. Okay, $22.80, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is a set of six antique Limoges teacups and saucers. Those are upstairs. I'll try to remember showing those. I have those in the China built-in cabinet in the YouTube studio, and they sold for $36. If item number three is a West Clock Big Ben, I see it up here. Sometimes I store different items on that top shelf, mostly trays and things like that, odd shaped items. For some reason, the clock wound up up there. And this is it, plastic housing. Now this is battery operated, so I'm gonna call this like a reproduction. I don't think this is, you know, an especially old one. Could be wrong about that. $35.99 and buyer paid shipping. Next up is Isaac Mizrahi Table Runner. This is the one with the dogs and the puppies. And I probably have a few more things in that area with the Easter pickup. So I'm gonna pull those at the same time. I sold the well-dressed home tablecloth for $33. Um, looking through my phone. Easter kitchen towels in yellow. Okay, there's a few items here. So I'm just gonna bring my phone and we're gonna go down to that area. So as I've showed before, I keep all the Easter stuff basically together. All right, so this is where the table runners would be and the kitchen towels. 
right, so I'm going to do this with one hand. You know what? I'm going to bring it in the light a little bit more. Let's pop this open. Okay, so these are the table runners here, and I have a couple of different kinds, so I have to be really careful to grab the right one. Don't think that's it. I think this one is it. Let's hold this up. I'm going to hook it on here so we can see it. Let's see. Let me check my phone and see that that's the correct one. It is not the correct one. We're looking for the puppy dogs. It's this one. Okay, so I will get this one out and hang this one. Look how cute these are. All right, so it is puppy dogs on a table runner. And what did this sell for? This sold for $14.99. And I see the yellow kitchen towels, a set of these sold. Now these I have inventory numbers on because I picked up such a great number of these. But, um, oops, it's got a fuzz on it. Let's see if I can get that off. Okay, so I'm gonna put that up here and put the table runners back. Not that one, that's the one that sold. All right, two pulls in one, one bin, which is good. And the next thing was a tablecloth. So I have this and this. The tablecloths are down here, I believe. Let me see. Easter linens, bibs, cloths, cloth bags, and napkins. And I'm looking for tablecloths. Where did I put those? Oh, might be right in front of me in this bag. Yep, here they are. Okay, now these came in different sizes, so I have to be careful to pull the size that the buyer ordered. I have a 60 by 84. I think they were all 60 wide. Let me go back to my phone and see. I'm going to grab my phone, see if I can do this backwards. Let's see what size sold. The 60 by 102, the big one. So it must be this one here because these are the last two left. I think I've sold three or four of these, 6102. So sorry the lighting is so dark down here. It's not that I'm lazy to set up lighting. Setting up lighting in a big dark area is hard. You either have to have lighting on wheels, I'm going to start walking this stuff back, or you have to um, just really clip a light onto yourself, like a, like a spotlight. I could do that too. But for now, we're just going to go with it like this. And I'm going to go back and grab the table runner. I kind of enjoy this. It It's not work to me. Pulling solds is kind of relaxing because it's just finding inventory and making a pile of it. So it's kind of nice to see what's sold. It's the shipping out that's more work. Okay, so this is what this one looks like. And we will go on to the next item. The next item that sold was a elephant and elephant coin piggy bank, $22.80. And he is right here. I don't remember where I picked this up. I do remember picking it up, but I have no idea where I was. I kind of feel like this was an auction piece, but I could be wrong about that. But there he is, $22.80 plus shipping. The next item up is a pair of Juicy Couture sunglasses, $19.82. And the sunglasses are in eyeglasses. So they will be right here in this bin. And I will try to pull this down right here. Let's see if I can find Juicy Couture. Now I don't think Juicy Couture had a case. I guess I could check the listing, that would be easy. Here they are. These remind me of like an Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> Big eyeglasses. Kind of like a, a blush nude color. So what did I say these sold for? $19.82. Next up is BSF flatware. It's a lot of 15 pieces and I keep flatware in this container here. Let's see if I can pull this off the shelf. Whoop, sorry about that loud bang. And these are them right here. So it's just a lot of two, looks like serving spoons, and then some spoons and forks. And these sold for $29.28. And 
and I usually ship flatware in a padded mailer if it fits. Okay, next up is the Pottery Barn Marla. This, I think this is a duvet cover. I'm gonna check, yes, new, $106.68. Let's go see if we can find a Pottery Barn duvet cover. So this is all Pottery Barn here, except for that bin there. That's just curtains and drapes. But this is the duvet cover, so I'm going to put the camera down and pull out that bin, and we will take a look and see if we can find the Marla. Okay, hopefully if this footage comes out too dark, we'll be able to lighten it. So this is just one of the bins of duvet covers that I have. These are all brand new, and I buy them when they go on clearance. And there it is down there. So I'm going to pull this out. This is a beautiful pattern. Why didn't I keep this? <laughs> Full Queen Marla. So I think the Marla did not have the original wrapping. This is one of my bags. And what did I buy this for? I feel like I got this in the large Pottery Barn pickup when they were changing locations. Pretty sure that's when I got this, which was a while ago. But it wasn't bothering me, just, just waiting its turn in my bin. So what did I say I got for that? $106.68. I probably paid, I'm going to say less than $10 for that. So that was a great find. Next up, Soma Pajama Pants. It's one pair of pants. I was shopping in the mall with a friend and I saw Soma was having clearance. I did that recently and I showed that in a YouTube video. $36.59. So I'm not sure if I have folded those yet. I'm thinking it's going to be here. If not, here they are right here. It does make it easy to find things when they are on hangers like this, but I prefer my inventory folded and put in plastic so that if it does take a while to sell, you know, it's perfectly fine. So again, these are all folded items and I have to put all of this away, which is all thing in itself. But let's bring the pajama pants over to the table. Beautiful paisley print. Okay, and what did I pay for these? Um, I'm going to say I paid $6 for that. I'd have to look that up, but that's my recollection of it. Next item, L.L. Bean Women's Green Cargo Pants. They're a Chino Safari. <laughs> you know me, I always put all of the keywords in there. So pants are still over here, and I have been selling out these jeans, but I still have quite a bit. But the pants will be down here, 12 T. So there are 12 tall and 12 is a large. So they will be in this bin here. Let's see if I can, nope, this one's heavy. I'm gonna put the camera down. So pretty sure these are them right here. Yep, LL Bean 12 T cargo pants. I'll just pop that top back on and I might as well stay down this way because I think the next item is down this way. Let me grab my phone. Uh, did I say what the buyer paid? $13.72 and shipping. Oh, the next thing up, <laughs> oi, <laughs> is an ALC skirt that is in these bags. I folded it. So that's the only problem when things sell. And I haven't put this away yet. I just did this like last night and the night before. So I have to take a quick peek and see if I can find it this way. Oh, oh I got lucky. This is it right here. Yay. <laughs> and $37.82 plus shipping. Next item on the list is a men's filsing jacket. You know, out of all the tasks that I do for eBay, I think my least favorite is shipping. But I really enjoy this pulling. I don't know why. I think this really gives me a feeling like a really good sense of me bringing all of this in, you know, all of this stuff in and how much of it goes out and how quickly it goes out. It does happen quickly. Even though I'm a long tail seller, it's very satisfying to not only make the money, but to see all of the stuff rotate. So, okay. Filson jacket, Lauren Ralph Lauren. This is it right here. Filson garment. Now I found this at a Goodwill. Filson is a label that I always pick up almost no matter what condition it's in. But this jacket is just pristine. Men's Filson, this is called a Mackinac jacket. I think Mackinac is the style of it. And let me see what this brought. Look at my phone. 
$176.29 plus shipping. Okay, and I think I paid $10 for that. The next item, $14.99, is a lot of Tupperware I just picked up. So I picked this up while I was doing the 50% off day. 50% off clothing, and these are not in great shape. And I denoted that in the listing, of course, but I figured, okay, that's easy to ship. <laughs> I'm all about the easy to ship lately. Let me just grab the tops. And the tops aren't really the matching ones. I mean, they fit, but the colors are off. But $14.99, and I paid, I believe, $2.99 for these. Okay, let's see what else is on the list. Into the AM, a hoodie jacket. Uh, another one I just folded. <laughs> I gotta get these put away so I don't have to dig in these bags. All right, where is this gonna be? Where are you, jacket? Oh, is that it down there? I think I see it. Oh, yay. Yay, yay. So men's hoodie jacket with a neon jellyfish print. This, again, I will try to insert a photo or have Lisa do it, really. This is a very cool jacket. I just listed this last night, two nights ago, two nights ago, I think. $36.59, and I paid $5.75. Okay, Easter Bunny Garland. I'm going to have to bring this down. They ordered two of them, $43.92. Again, this is part of the Easter pickup. I knew this would happen. They would be a little bit slow when I picked them up because I think this buy was in January, and I knew I would do well with them as Easter approached. Okay, so this thing is paper goods and garlands. So let me just... Make sure I'm getting the right garlands here. I wonder if I have an inventory. Oh, there's more garlands there, I just noticed. Okay, let me bring them all down so that we can go through them and make sure we're sending the buyer the correct one. So it's a single bunny with carrots. Okay. Party bags. All right, so all of these are garlands. That's just carrots. Um, Easter eggs, Easter eggs. Oh, I think these are them. Nope, those are bunny heads and carrots. <laughs> this is them, two bunnies. I think these are them. I will double check. So it is two bunnies and carrots, and the buyer ordered two of them. Next up is New York World's Fair trinket dish, and the buyer also ordered something else. So this is the trinket dish right here. 1964, 1965. I recently picked up a tray with those same years and a Ulysses S. Grant Union Mini Ball Souvenir. That is going to be a trick to find because what would I consider that? So the Union piece is either going to be on this shelf and I'm not seeing it. It also could be in odd items. I have a whole bin of odd items or maybe in this box, but I don't think so. This is all brass and things like that. Different pieces. Just gonna take a look at glass because I believe it's framed in glass. Hmm. So the grand souvenir might be in artwork anything framed, picture frames, uh, prints, things like that. Let me see if I can put this up here out of our way. And I see it here. I'll pull this down. So this is a mini ball, which I believe the mini ball is real. And somebody just created this framed souvenir. And let me tell you what that sold for. So that Ulysses S. Grant mini ball um, shadow box, I'm going to call it, sold for, got to click into it, $60.39. And the buyer also bought this here, this little trinket dish. I thought originally this was an ashtray, but I don't see the cigarette rest um, indentations. And what did this sell for? This sold for $14.34. So collectively, the buyer paid $74.73 plus shipping. Next up is a John Deere Chevy van truck coin bank. And I have a bin just for model cars and things like that, trucks. 
Let's see if I can find this here. Toy Trucks, Cars, and Models. So that is down here. Pull this one out. This feels like it's getting quite low. It is, which is a great thing. And I believe, is this in it? This is a bag. Oh dear, I should have taken note. Okay, so what did I say it was? 23 Chevy. I think this one is it. <laughs> I guess I have quite a few of these. All right, I'm going to grab this one because this is a Chevy and bring this one to the table. But I will make sure before I send it out that this is the correct one. Thank goodness for photos, too. You can always look at the photo to make sure you're sending out the right item when you have this much in stock. All right, $17.08, 23 Chevy van truck. Yep, that's it. All right, I'm just going to scroll through my phone and see what else we need. A Germany porcelain, CT Germany porcelain, um, what is this? Serving dish. Okay, so that will be right here. Oh, that's pretty. I think this is the one that has the little bit of chipping on the edges, which I think the dish was so beautiful. I picked this up in nearly new thrift store, the little thrift store in Mannheim, PA, and I didn't want to leave it behind even though it did have some damage. So I just listed it for $9.99 and the buyer bought it, plus shipping. So I don't make a huge profit on this, but I'm really glad to save this. You know, it's made it all these years, save this from the landfill. So while I don't do a lot of chipped items, I will from time to time pick up items that I know have a floor if I just want to save them from the landfill. All right, the next item up is a set of Viking River Cruises promo dust bags. Three of them, and they have sayings on them, $15.24. So because that's a really odd item, I actually have a bin, yep, for odd items. And it is right here. I pulled this one down. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Odd items. So this is anything that I can't figure out where to put it. And I see them right away. This, there's all kinds of craziness in this, in this bin. But here they are here. I'm going to bring them over to the table in the light so we can take a look at these. Pretty sure these are them. Looks like it's them. Do we think it's them? <laughs> all right. Our table is getting crowded. Move things around. Let me see if I can pull these out with one hand. Oh, I need another hand. Okay, so these are these are really nice. Man knows little. So they have really cool inscriptions or, or sayings on them. And it's a set of three. Now I'm not sure why Viking Cruises gave these out like what you would have received. Maybe it was like a, um, you know, a gift bag when you got on the ship. It might have had like different toiletries in it, like a hotel gives out. I'm not quite sure. I thought they were really nicely made. That's what made me pick them up. And what did I say? I sold these for $15.24 plus shipping. I was going to say plus shipping. Another item that sold is a set of six teacups and saucers. These are Limoges, and while you think Limoges, France items sell for really big money, <laughs> to me this is like kind of borderline not even worth it. Now I did pick up a whole set of this, and I did get this really inexpensive, and they are gorgeous. But six teacups and saucers sold for, I think, $36. So the profit is not really, in my opinion, worth the work of packing and shipping. But I did pick up the set. I did commit to selling it. And I have sold a few pieces, but as you can see, I still have a lot more to go. This set is gorgeous, just beautiful. I'll wait and show it to you. So really beautiful, all the markings. Limoges, France, right there. And yeah, so I still have all of this to go. I think I sold a couple of the vegetable bowls, a small platter, and these are my personal, <laughs> I'm not selling these. These are my personal champagne glasses. Let's see if I can hold it up to the light. I don't know if you guys can see that pattern, but otherwise everything in this cabinet is for sale. And like I said, Limoges France dishes, slow seller for me. So I don't know that I would pick them up again. Very hard to resist, 
But for today, we are pulling six teacups and saucers and adding a lot of packing peanuts. Okay, guys, so I'm going to stop there and not continue on because I want to shut the camera off and get all of this put away before the week starts in earnest. And this will probably take me, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes to work all of this. It's probably maybe a hundred items into these bins. And as you can see, I have a few bins that I have to put away from pulling. I figured I'd throw in footage of a few more things that sold after I shut the camera off. So this first set of pillowcases is Pottery Barn. I picked up 28 of these at $2.97 each. I lotted two together, which is costing me $5.94 buy-in price plus tax. And altogether, I spent $83.16 for the 14 sets and they are selling for anywhere between the price you see on the screen and $30, $32. But if we account for this price, which is the lowest I believe I've sold these for, I will be selling them for $341.46. Now this is before fees, but at an $83.16 buy-in price, that is a great profit. Next up is an L.L. Bean men's tall fleece jacket. I'm pretty sure this is new with tags. Yep, it is new with tags. I just saw it on the screen, $36.59, and I paid $5.75. A Romans top. No, I don't sell a lot of Romans, but when they're this pretty, I am sure to pick them up. This one sold for $18.29, and I paid $4.75. North Face Boys Jacket. I wish this was a men's jacket, but I will still take children's clothing when it's an item like this. $23.52. I'm not quite sure even what a child's jacket is. I'm pretty sure it's between $3.50 and $5 in this store. Two curtains that I picked up in a curtain lot. This is Pioneer Woman. $14.64 and I paid $2.50. And this last shot is of boots that I am waiting for the payment. I don't usually take best offers or do best offers, very rare, because this is one of the problems on eBay. They don't require immediate payment. So this buyer is probably not going to pay. I accepted a $90 offer for these boots, and now I have to wait to relist them because I will wait for this person to receive a strike on their account, which takes probably over five days for non-payment. So it is my feeling, along with most other resellers, that when a buyer is going to make a best offer, they have to have their money in their account and it has to be put on hold. That way we're guaranteed that we're not wasting our time. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours.